Good evening and welcome to Midlands Today from the BBC. Tonight, the exciting and life-changing new operation for victims of breast cancer. The microsurgery is so good they say it's difficult to tell the difference between a healthy and reconstructed breast. Today, a plastic surgeon from Belgium has been teaching specialists here how to do it. Now Birmingham will be the first place in the UK to offer the surgery routinely on the NHS. Our health correspondent, Michele Paduano, went to watch the revolutionary moment. Beads yeah. down here. Accentuating the female form has been Jane Woolrich's stock in trade. She's an exclusive designer of corsetry and nightwear from near Burton. But since having part of her breast removed following cancer, she's very conscious of her deformity. I'll show you, I'll put it over my neck. But it's drapey and it's lovely and it's low. But constantly, all night, I was very conscious because I've got like a big dent. So if I I was const constantly trying to sit up and I was constantly looking. <laughs> well, you didn't really expect her to wear a hospital gown, did you? And she is meeting one of the world's best surgeons. His breast reconstructions don't damage muscle, limit movement or leave lasting pain. Yeah, it'd be nice to have it all over, but I feel quite in good hands, so yes, I feel OK. <laughs> Already today we're thinking about new techniques for tomorrow, so it always keeps on going. And you, you can't say that the technique that we've been using 20 years ago is, is wrong or has been has been a mistake. No, this is just how medicine evolves and where we will be in 20 years or 30 years, I don't know. Jane's operation involves taking a flap of fat and preserving the minute blood supplies, then pushing the fat through the breast itself to fill the hole. Professor Blondiel is also able to reconstruct an entire breast using fat from your behind. 60 surgeons from across the Midlands and North watch today's operation via a satellite link. We've come here to see how he raises these flaps for breast reconstruction and we're very lucky to have him here. It's very, very sub-specialised, uh, 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 certainly majority of centres in the UK are not uh, able to, to offer it. And Jane left recovery following the complex surgery this afternoon. I think she's going to have a fabulous result from that. I'm sure she'll be pleased. Um, Professor Blondeel's worked his magic again and we will of course be letting him know how Jane does in the long term. Jane Woolridge should feel both physically and mentally better soon and the hope is that before long many more Midlands women will feel the same way. Michele Paduano, BBC Midlands Today. And tonight, really pleased to tell you that Jane Woolrich is a bit groggy, but otherwise fine. Another woman from Staffordshire, Rosemary Matthews, who had the full breast reconstruction, is doing extremely well. And University Hospital says this surgery is designed for young women whose lifestyles are a bit more active.